so I felt the spirit coming from this way and I knew Jesus was sitting here and yet his warmth was coming this way mm -hmm. and all three of us were under the authority of God in heaven they were all separate but they were all one mm -hmm. and it was as if for a moment I could be inside of that Mm. What a beautiful moment. Yeah. So Jesus was the Son of God. He is the Son of God. And yet, He was letting me be part of that. And mm. I felt like I belonged. I was the daughter. Uh -huh. He was a rock. Just let, let your body fill up with that right now. And just notice what it's like, that, that powerful sun. Powerful enough to kill you, but it doesn't. That you can feel on your body, warming you up. And in it, Jesus. And that breeze, that pressure against your face that comes and goes and lifts your hair. And in that, the Holy Spirit. Just let your body fill up with what, what it's like to be right in, right in the middle of that. So my mother comes to my mind. She's so opposite to me. Married twice, living a gay lifestyle, pro-abortion, women's rights, humanism. And in my own strength, I cannot love her. Mm -hmm. So Lord, can you show me how? I ran back to my backyard mm -hmm. and I'm sitting in the chair again. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feel that breeze on your face and in your hair. It's almost as if the Holy Spirit was pushing my chair over there. <laughs> to be by Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm. I sense it's more than just my mother and me. It's like a spiritual battle mm. between good and evil. It's wanting the best for my mother. It's this new tender heart that I have toward her. I want her to just do what I tell her to do. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. I've had to be her mother before. Mm. Hmm. Jesus is reminding me how much I'm like my mother. <laughs> yes. <coughs> and as we were growing up, the four girls, I was the second of four. She and I always had a special bond. I was the first to go to college in my family and mm. my heritage and my history. And she was so proud mm. of my accomplishments. She brought me to church, but she thinks I took it too far. Ah. Uh, but she brought you. All the while we were growing up, even mm -hmm. through all the difficult family stuff, she would be in church with the four girls. Mm -hmm. My dad was a truck driver, so he was gone a lot. Mm -hmm. 
I appreciate that. Mm. I should tell her that. Mm. But in her humanism, <coughs> she thinks you can only take that so far. You have to satisfy yourself. You have to be happy. It's not what God says. He's telling me something different. What's he telling you? He's showing me to be grateful. for bad things as well as good things. He's showing me that <clears throat> being happy isn't the be all end all. Hmm. But having this time with him is hmm. the important thing. Hmm. It will not help her to tell her all the wrong things she did and how she's hurt me. I, too, have hurt her. Mm. I have not honored her. I have not given her dignity. Jesus loves us both. He does. Hmm. Wow. Opening myself to her does not condone mm. what she stands for. Wow. Opening yourself to her does not condone what she stands for. Yeah. He's inviting me again in the spirit is kind of moving me to go there again. So I'm sitting by him. Out under the sun? Mm-hmm. I feel the sun. Mm -hmm. I feel the breeze. Mm -hmm. You still want me to trust. Not close myself. Mm -hmm. Trust in fallible human beings. Mm. Be open. Does this have something to do with my mother? Or mm. I don't trust her either. You don't? Mm. Mm. She doesn't always tell the truth. She sees things from her own perspective. She's had a difficult life. It shaped her. Mm -hmm. And what about that, Lord? Since he doesn't trust her mother. The phone call. Yeah. So, Lord, when when this interaction happens, Lord, I need to be open, and vulnerable. Mm. Baby steps. Mm. That comes into mind. I don't have to leap. It doesn't have to feel hard. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can just allow it to happen. It's a short amount of time. It's a first conversation. Yeah. Let the Holy Spirit be there. Uh huh. It feels so doable. Mm, doable. Yeah. And I'm fighting this side that says she's hurt me. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Notice that that that's there. She's disappointed me. Uh huh. I feel shame. Uh huh. I'm ashamed of her. Baby steps. Baby steps. God is big. Mm. He's bigger than this. Mm -hmm. 
He is my true father. He's up above my head someplace. Yeah. How does it feel having him up there like that? Your true father, your big true father. It's like I'm getting sun from two ways. Uh huh. <laughs> Spirit cooling me. Uh huh. Mm, the door is there. Mm -hmm. And even if it all went bad, Jesus is still on the other on the side. Other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's as if he said, "Okay, now you can." Put your chair up and stop resting and mm -hmm. put your confidence in me. Mm -hmm. But now he's looking at me. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying, how do I do that? It's like... Mm. The Holy Spirit is helping me with that, too. Mm. Mm -hmm. I can recognize it as fear. And the confidence isn't that it's going to work. It's that he's going to be there. And this week, for the first time in months and months and months and possibly years, I felt like my RCs were on. Mm -hmm. And this was a big, big thing for me because all of a sudden, the person wasn't as big. It, the person was more important to me than the problem, than the issue that we were dealing with. Mm -hmm. So um, last week, we had this tension about the phone call, which did happen. I talked to my mother for the first time in two years, which was really a positive step forward. It wasn't earth shaking, and I just kept saying, this is just baby steps, but she was very receptive. Um, during the phone call, uh, I thanked her because it was on my mind. Thank you, Mother, for making me go to Sunday school all those Sundays. It's just been really important for me to tell you that, and I know sometimes when you have kids, you're, you're encouraging them to do the right thing over and over and they fight you and fight you and fight you and then, you know, 30 years later, something good came of it. So I was like, you know, thank you for that. And that um, really stayed with her and she emailed me a couple of times with little things from the internet about making your kids go to Sunday school. So I know that it meant a lot to her. <laughs> Um, she said some kind of off-the-wall things about my son and his wife that they should get a divorce because his wife is not good enough for him and I just noticed it. I was like, you know, that seems very judgmental and I didn't respond really to it. I said, well, maybe you don't have all the information, but you know, I'm not here to talk about that right now. So we just kind of moved on past it and I just made a mental note of it and I thought, wow. That's really strange for me. And then later in the week, um, of course my husband was really happy about all this happening because even though I've been neglecting my mother, he's been visiting her. Mm. So <clears throat> he was very happy about that. And we had a little um, misunderstanding. And at the end of the whole situation, it was like, um, he was more important than the problem and we could follow it up by maybe this solution or that solution and if it didn't all work I just give up that thing and you know we would go on so it was like wow and that made him so happy and it made me so happy and